Pousse-toi, pousse ta grosse tête. Je vais aller fixer droit. Attends, termine. Hey. So hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. So I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions about our international couple because we are an international couple indeed. Where are you from? I'm from France. And I'm from Hungary. Since it was our anniversary yesterday, I thought that it would be the perfect opportunity for us to do a Q&A because you never really appeared on my channel before. For real, you're just always in the background, sneaking around, being French. So we're gonna answer a couple of questions that you guys asked us. So do you wanna... Tu vas choisir les questions ou c'est moi qui choisis? Tu choisis. Moi je choisis. Okay. <laughs> Let's start. First question. Which language do you prefer to use together? French. Of course. Because? Because I speak French. Je parle français. And also because we live in France. So. Yeah, but if I lived in France and I didn't speak French, I wouldn't be able to speak French. But in the beginning, I think we also spoke in English, no? In the beginning. Because je me sentais pas à l'aise. But then we decided you have to practice your French because practice makes perfect. So yeah, and now my French is average. Huh? <laughs> no. Now your French is. But. Combien sur 10? Hmm, 8,75. Okay. Next question. Do you feel the age difference? I do. Because sometimes when there's like music, I don't know because it's kind of like old music or films and you know them and I don't. Then I'm like, oh, I'm really young. I'm not sure it's age related. Yeah, I'm just not the... I don't really know the codes of the pop culture. It's just that you live under a rock. I'm not interested in pop culture thing. <laughs> so how old are you? I am uh, 32. And I'm 25. Next question. How did you guys meet? Tinder. <laughs> the modern way of meeting people. Yeah, that's it. Tinder. Next question. Do you cook for each other food from your own country? I cook a Hungarian food. Yes, but you cook the vegan versions and I think the normal versions that I've tasted in Hungary were much much more delicious so if you would cook the normal versions for me that would be great but then i would have to cook meat and i don't eat meat and i don't want to touch it hmm. I know. disgusting and me do i cook french things to you yeah like quiche les carottes quiche lorraine les carottes. ratatouille carottes au beurre pommes de terre sautées à l'ail right. so i cook some some French, but I don't uh, cook any Asian stuff. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, you never cooked uh, that's, Vietnamese food. That's not my shit. <laughs> not even dessert. No. No. Mm. I'm not interested. Why? It's a bit complicated to get all the ingredients. You have to go in specialized, specialized grocery stores mm -hmm. that I don't go often. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to go just for that. Mm -hmm. But I could. Maybe I should start. Yeah. Ban me. Ban me. Ban me. Yeah. Okay, next one. Biggest culture shocks. You should answer, no? Um, biggest culture shock. I'm not that shocked. Maybe the how complaining French people are. Like how dramatic and cl complaining they are. Mm -hmm. I mean, Was that you are. <laughs> Was that a shock? Uh, kind of. But you knew it already, no? I knew it, but it's different when you live with someone. Like... <laughs> she <damn. laughs> Ah, when it comes to like your Vietnamese side. Uh, like yeah. your yeah, everything organized, everything we share. Oh, we share everything. Cette mentalité de collectivity. But yeah, for sure, like a Vietnamese family reunion, maybe it's, it was... Mm. Kind of different mm -hmm. for you and for me, no shock. Nothing shocked you in Hungary? No. Really? Mm. The lack of diversity. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> that's Hungary. 
it was a bit uh, it was a bit strange but mm -hmm. it is what it is okay next one how hard it is to date someone from a different culture and what advice could you give communication is very important as i have learned i think it's not really difficult because you're you're able to speak french but sometimes maybe that five or ten percent that you lack in how do you say nuances or uh, mm -hmm. in the, the details in the details of the vocabulary very specific vocabulary because obviously french is a really like nuance well let's say it's really rich and you have a word a proper word for Everything. every situation and sometimes also it can lead to quiproquo mm, misunderstanding Mis misunderstandings it's it happens sometimes mainly because you heard another word or um, maybe you're not paying attention and but, i was like uh, yeah 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 but it can happen in this five ten percent of a two lack in mm. to reach perfect mm. french both understanding and speaking mm. sometimes it can lead to misunderstanding and then to argument yeah. <laughs> born from that misunderstanding so that can be challenging but culture wise Hungary and France are not that much different mm. so mm. it wasn't that that Book hard yeah. okay next one did your boyfriend ask you to be his girlfriend or did you ask him to be your boyfriend did you go on date first no. I asked first I did everything first <laughs> no she c'était moi qui 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 t'a avoué mes mes sentiments en premier. Après, c'était moi qui t'a demandé si. What do you think we are? So I did everything. Okay, si tu veux, you you did you did most you did most. I just went along. Went with the flow. Because <laughs> I wasn't presuming anything. Mm. Let's put it that way. Next one. How was the feeling of going to live together? Did you get nervous? Or excited I was anxious as hell mm, yeah I was a bit nervous too because neither of us uh, had lived with someone mm. before now so uh, not like a partner and I, I was used to living alone for about three or four years mm. so it was a bit of a challenge it was a bit uh, I was a bit nervous but uh, it went well but yeah obviously personal space that was the main thing and how to how we we would get along being 24 uh, 7 together together yeah i was a bit nervous but um, there wasn't any reason yeah in the end but uh, also apartment is not that big so yeah our, our apartment is not that big so obviously we had to adapt a bit our routines and but eventually we found found a way of living together mm. you no know? why i mean if we don't kill each other in this small space then i think we should be fine <laughs> I was like anxious that I couldn't like study mm -hmm. well if I don't have well. my own like if I couldn't study and revise if I don't have my own space because we don't have an office or anything. Yeah. We have a living room, a quite big, like a big living room and then there's the room, the bedroom, mm -hmm. but there's no office so I always have to study on the... You can study in the toilet. No. <laughs> no, I cannot. But it went okay, I think, no? And even when you are at home, like home in a home office, you'd, I don't bother, you know? No, but I don't work so much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I go to your office, your office, in your work hours, and you're watching YouTube videos, so... Yeah, good for you. Next one! What qualities do you appreciate in your boyfriend, girlfriend? You start. I appreciate that you're very down to earth which is the opposite of me because I'm more like head in the clouds so I appreciate that you're very practical, down to earth, logical, rational also that you cook very well also that you're very considerate you're very like loving and affectionate and you're always taking care of me and that I can always count on you and that um, you're funny what I appreciate about you the most, obviously that you're funny and that you're basically my opposite. Because as you said, I'm really down to earth and sometimes I need someone to goof around. Yeah, and show me show me how to live with your with your dreams in mind mm. and uh, enjoy and those kind of stuff that I'm not used to mm -hmm. because it's not my way of living mm -hmm. and 
I really like your like your sincerity, mm. your emotions and the, the things you say. It's uh, it's pure. Pito, mm -hmm. quite hot. And uh, you're really cute. And I cook well. And you cook. Uh, you can cook. <laughs> hey. Mm. Okay, next one. Have you done long distance? No. Yeah. No. I was actually supposed to leave for Korea in the beginning of the year for seven months. So if I would have went, mm -hmm. we would have done long distance. But it didn't go, so... Mm. It would have been really, really, really long. Mm -hmm. And also, we did a lot of things together in seven months. So I'm glad that we had this time to... I create say, memories create, together. Yeah, exactly. Create mm. memories together. Mm. Also, I'm not that good at texting, so I would have been. <laughs> if you expect her to re respond to your texts, just don't, don't. expect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. My friend Fatty is asking, when are you two getting a dog? I want to be a dog auntie soon. Getting a dog, huh? Mm. In two years. No? When, when have you decided? No, that? it's just an idea. It's just an idea, but uh, for now, I think uh, you know the apartment is a bit is a bit too small yeah. for a dog. Even even if, of course, we would take the dog for out for a walk. Yeah. And also, I'm not sure I am prepared for that. Yeah. To have a, so I want to take care of. Because if, if I have a dog, I want to be a good owner slash master. Okay. I just want to be really caring and taking out the, the dog for a walk at least two times a day and going out for a 15 minutes walk. Yeah. That would be sad. That would be sad for the dog. Okay, last one. It is County. My other friend is asking. Have you ever had problems with social media in a relationship? I don't really get the question, but maybe did we have an argument over Social media. Social medias. Not really arguments, but sometimes you try to convince me to do things with you or to appear in your videos and mm -hmm. it's not really your thing. It's not really yeah. my thing. I'm I'm not really good at um, being under the spotlight. Under the spotlight, even even though I was a musician, so I was used to it, but appearing on camera and speaking and it's not really my thing. I can play music for you guys. Will um, you? Yeah, I can. This I can. If I don't have to speak, I'm okay. <laughs> but you speak so well. I understood with time that's not your thing. So these days I don't want to force you to do anything. You're not comfortable. So, mm -hmm. yeah. With time, oh, I got used to it. So now it's uh, becoming easier and easier. Mm -hmm. But still... Cute. Okay. I think that was it. Anything else to add to it? Mm. No. <laughs> No? Not so overall, as an international couple, are you happy with our multicultural <laughs> what are you doing? vibe? I have nothing to add, but I want to say that I'm very proud that we are an international couple. Yeah, I'm really proud. Are you happy to go to Hungary sometime to mm -hmm. hang out with my family? Mm -hmm. And also I like to discover different cultures, so obviously I'm really happy to go to Hungary and to hear people speaking Hungarian and uh, well in general another language and to discover new food mm -hmm. and, uh, and th stuff like that. So that's something I, can we say ch cherish? No. Mm -hmm. See, that I something I appreciate, something I uh, value. You know, something I value, that's the word. What about you? I am happy because I always, I never imagined myself with a Hungarian boy. So I always knew that I would probably would end up with someone who has, is from a different country than me. Mm -hmm. And you teach me so many things about friends and you teach me expressions and you have a different way of seeing and things. And also I teach you things about uh, Vietnam. Yeah, it's true. And mm -hmm. food and mentality. So it's cool. Recommended. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for being in my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. it won't happen again any soon. Why? Because I'm shy. Oh, you okay. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video. And I will see you next week. Bye.